everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have uh, deployed the zoom resilient azure virtual machines by using uh, azure portal as well as arm templates so this is what uh, we have did so this was using uh, direct azure portal and uh, this was uh, deployed by arm templates so where it's configured uh, there uh, while it was deploying so if you remember in the task one we have created a storage and uh, we'll be using that in the task two so here uh, the task two is configuring of uh, azure virtual machines by using virtual uh, machine extensions so using that we'll be running some scripts so if you talk about the definition of uh, the virtual machine extensions so there are small applications that provide post deployment configurations and uh, automation tasks on azure virtual machines for example if a virtual machine requires a software installation or antivirus protection or the ability to run a script inside it so we can use this uh, vm extension so that is what the basic different or uh, basic uh, explanation of this uh, virtual machine extension is according to the docs so saying that let's jump into the video and uh, create it so initially let's go to the storage because uh, as we talked before it was the storage accounts so if you remember this was the storage account so when you're deploying in, uh, when we uh, when you're deploying in the previous lab make sure that uh, you change uh, change correctly like uh, for instance when i was deploying it uh, I didn't mention it as VM1, so VM0. So it, it took some time for me. So I just uploaded it and I uh, just changed the number here. So make sure uh, everything uh, you deploy properly. So apart from it, if you click this one, the storage account. So it's the same as this one, but just uh, I've added a uh, number two extra, that's it. So uh, here, let's go to the containers and uh, under the containers let's add one so here the name of the container would be the scripts and uh, it will be private so if you talk about uh, containers so containers provide an easy way to run the batch shops uh, without having to manage environment and dependencies so this is what the difference was so if i go back here and let's create this so if we click the scripts let's upload the uh, the file so in this case let me go to the lab 8 and you can see the file here, right? Click that. So once you upload it, make sure everything is okay and uh, just click upload. I'm just reviewing it once again, just to make sure that everything is right. So yeah, upload. So we have uploaded it and uh, now if we go back to the virtual machine so if you go back to the virtual machine and uh, let's select the first one and uh, here under settings you can see there is the extensions option extensions plus applications so when you click that so here let's add it and uh, so search for uh, custom script extension click that and let's go next so you can read about it so extension is a tool that is used to automatically launch uh, and execute the vm customized tasks post configuration when the extension is added to the virtual machine it can be downloaded uh, powershell scripts and files from the Azure storage and launch a powershell script on the vm which in turn can be downloaded additional software components custom templates uh, script extension tasks can also be automated using the azure powershell script okay. so let's go ahead and uh, click next and uh, here let's browse it Let's browse and uh, let's go to the storage account which is this one and uh, here let's uh, 
click the scripts and under scripts you can file the extension ps1 click that and select so it has been done and uh, so once you select it so so let me leave it and let me create review and create it so well it's done the validation is passed so you can create it okay So it has been done. Meanwhile, uh, let's go to the virtual machine uh, one and uh, perform the operations. So if I go back, if I go to the virtual machines, let us go to the one. And uh, in this case, under uh, automation, So in automation, you can see there is an option called uh, tasks as well as export template. So click, click the export template and uh, and click deploy. So here let's edit the template. So here if you go to the line 20, which is the resources here we have to change so let me so under this line let me add that so I guess that should be fine so I'm just uh, reading it And I think everything is fine. Let's save it. So let me review and create it. So the validation has been passed, you can uh, create. So both are in the deployment state and uh, I'm done. And now let's go ahead and uh, go to the VM one again. And here, let's go under operations. Uh, operations, you can see run command, click that. And uh, run PowerShell script. So here, Let's add the command. Let me paste here. Let's run this. So just confirming once again. So yeah, you can run it. Use uh, basic parsing parameters is necessary to eliminate the dependency on the Internet Explorer to complete the execution. So we can also connect uh, with uh, VM0. So we have to just change the IP address here. So I think it's done. Yeah, uh, we have successfully completed it. So we have successfully completed uh, the task two, which is uh, configuring Azure Virtual Machines by using uh, Azure Virtual Machine extensions. So in the next video, we'll be talking about uh, scaling computing and storage for uh, Azure Virtual Machines. I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, today's video. 
if you have liked the video please click the like below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you everyone